John here guys and today we're talking about the full build and review of the Ethics Cinerad. Only one truly important lesson remains. Now look at that super smooth um, pull in and pull out and that's exactly how this thing flies. I haven't really been one to jump on this you know, giant size center whoop style thing. I've been flying the micros, but the micros might be a little bit too light. I don't like the way ducks fly particularly well. They do fly smooth, but you get a lot of that prop wash and those weird flight characteristics. And when I saw the design of this that had the guards as opposed to the ducks and would allow you to get much more of a traditional flight. But I'm using these RC Empower 1506 3600 or no, i'm sorry 4300 kv which is an outstanding 4s option a lot of these are recommending 6s i really don't quite get that because you don't really need 6s for something like this that you're going to be flying low and slow and smooth 6s in my opinion is more for racers or freestylers that really like to punch and you want to minimize that battery sag but if you just want longer flight times, you just need to go up in capacity. So if you wanted to fly longer, just a larger battery. An 850 milliamp is doing me about three and a half, four and a half minutes. Flying pretty slow and smooth. Um, if you were pushing and trying to do power moves, you could probably half that easily. Um, with the GoPro Session installed at the front, there's also an eight mount for this that has the little thing that you screw on. Um, this one, I'm using the little couch that you can print for this works really well and uh, as I noted in the last video all of these 3d printed parts can be printed at your home for about three dollars and fifty cents worth of filament cost super cheap I'm also trying out this FPV cycle mini immortal T and 10 I'm gonna have another video specifically about that I made it up I wanted a blue camera to fit and match the color mat uh, the color scheme of this so I used the Vanover camera which is an excellent excellent image camera and uh, since I'm switching to pretty much all nano size on my racers, I had an availability to use this on this build and it matches great using the Rush Tanked Ultimate VTX that goes all the way up to 800 milliwatts with this little Rush Cherry antenna at the back. Oh man, it looks great. And of course I'm using the Mamba Stack with a little capacitor on the pigtail to keep things nice and safe. Well, I'll let you decide in the footage, but this thing is heavy. For a three inch, 450 grams is exceptionally heavy. It's like 250 grams dry. To give you an idea, that's about a little over 100 grams more than something like the Diatone GTR 349. But that is more of a racing build. This is freestyle. So anybody that, you know, back in my indie film days, anytime you have like a gimbal that you would carry or a steady cam, and I'm not talking about these new electronic gimbals, I'm talking about the old school, the kind you would have to have like beefy forearms to be able to manipulate and use. They all had weights at the bottom. Why weights? Because you want your point of moving to be slow and the weights can help you slow you down. So the weight on this, if you want smooth flight as your goal, is not necessarily a bad thing. I think I'm gonna wanna introduce a little bit more expo uh, to this so to take out a little bit of those jitters that you might see in the stick but overall um it doesn't fly like a race quad or a freestyle quad so my first flight i was like oh man it flies really heavy um, even with these great powerful motors now these motors if you match them up to a high pitch prop i first put the hq three and a half pitch on there and it was so loud and it actually drained the battery really, really fast two amp hungry. So I put these um, Gem Fam Wind Dancer 3028. It's a much lower pitch, a little bit more precision, and it's slightly quieter, even though this formula is still pretty loud. Um, and it just flies superb. I did note that a few of the racers were not liking this Mini Immortal T, but I think um, Heart of America FPV was attaching it to his carbon. Uh, in this build configuration, it goes up inside this TPU away from the carbon and both of the ends are very easily left untouched by that. So I think this is a better rest before that. I had no issues with it. I flew a couple hundred yards. I'm gonna do some additional testing on a few other bills with this and then make a video about that separately. Great combo though, if you want a Cinewoop but you don't want to pay $140 for your frame or you don't want to have the performance um, downsides of flying and you don't want to have to take the 
performance hit of flying with a traditional cine whoop frame, this is an excellent option to get you up in the air and the looks of it are just outstanding. This Saint Smart TPU printed in this beautiful blue color that is sort of shiny and semi-translucent paired with these cotton candy sweet and low let me see your tootsie roll cotton candy motors by rcm power great combo let's get to the bench and the footage thanks guys I want to I made a <laughs>